Hello everybody and welcome once again to Galactic Science 2. So, at the end of the last episode I managed to get the five lasers. So let's go and put those in place. I think it's the first job. Now, here are basically, I think we've got cables behind here. So let's just knock these mint blocks away. Yeah, we've got plenty of cables around the back here. Pick up those. I've not got my magnet on. I have it in the wrong place. Let's put that down here like this. Right, five lasers. I think they can just go anywhere we want. So I'm going to actually put them like this and then save this space for another one. I've got, I've got another one. Let's put that down there. So we have six lasers now producing stuff. So let's click our assembly table. Let's put those in there. Am I getting no recipes? Hold on a second. I'm getting this quite a lot at the moment. Empty. Scripts reloaded. Oh yeah, that works this time. And that'll then get work five times faster. So what have we got now? Each one of these produces, I think it's 40 RF per tick. So now we're getting 6 times 40, it's 240, which is correct. So this is now going up 5 times faster, or well, 6 times faster, whichever. So we've also got, let's go and have a look at what we've got to do for quests. Moon trance. So we've done the lasers, so now we've got assembly required. What have we got to do here? Make one machine base. I think we can do that fairly fairly easily one machine frame I mean let's have a look at that one so I want to make some dirt as well I think so I reckon we've got to make one of these so we need one tin gear four pieces of iron and two pieces of glass in the assembly table with one point or oh, 15 million RF so lots of power it's going to take a while so we've got how many glasses have we got in here we've got four that's good we've only got one ingot of iron at the moment so we need some more iron so we need let's have a look we need nine times three 27 pieces of iron let's take half a stack of those let's get those cooking while we're actually doing anything else before we do anything else so let's have, put half in there and put half in there. Well, they should cook up reasonably fast. In the meantime, I'm going to actually go and make some dirt. So I need some obsidian for that. What else do we need in here? One tin gear, wasn't it? Which we got as a quest reward, I do remember. So we can start to put these items into this uh, assembly table down the bottom here. And then when we've got the extra pieces of iron, it'll automatically show the recipe in here. So, next thing. Let's have a look over here. I would actually like to make, make a book for this uh, for, for this uh, microscope, which I think we're going to do next. Now, books. We need some cellulose. So, cellulose we get from wood. Let's take, a, let's take four pieces. Oh, it's actually one of these which is random, isn't it? I'll take I'll do half the wood anyway and we've got some retinol now retinol and we also need a piece of glass and we need a keratin as well now one keratin will make five pieces of leather and I'm not sure where it goes let's just put it in I think it goes anywhere I know it doesn't go anywhere of course it's gonna be one of the corners try the middle yeah, there we go. We have five pieces of leather. And we now need to decompose this so we can get, what do we want, some 30, 40, that's pretty good. So we've got 40 cellulose. And we want to make some paper out of that. And I think that's three in a row. Let's just, oops, missed. Yeah, and that'll give me eight pieces of paper, which is plenty for a book. And a book and a piece of glass will make a microscope. 
chemist journal. So let's get these crafted up first. Oops, missed. Actually, two books would probably be good, so let's do two books. I'm sure we're going to need another book later on. So we now need the chemist journal, like that. That's away, and I'll put the mint away too. And we can then start to scan things in the microscope, which is great, because that saves a lot of time sometimes. So we could, for example, put the retinol in at the moment. And then we have retinol in the book. Let's just check it. So you can then select that and that's what will be put into the machine, which is great. Cobblestone, let's do cobblestone at the same time because that's one of the basics. So it's two silicon and two four oxygen. So that's silicon dioxide decomposed, which I think we did last time. Um, cellulose, let's take a piece of cellulose and a piece of paper. I think I put the paper away. Let's just put the cellulose in here. So that's what one cellulose gives us that let's have a look at that because there's one thing I noticed that's quite going to be quite useful to make that was cartridge hydrogen and let's do a couple of these I think I am going to make something slightly glycine I think it is no oh. It works differently in this one and compared to JEI, I want to make some glycine. But to find it first of all, try that we'll do it the other way around. Glycine. And if you press shift here, it shows you the effects. So it gives you food of two and saturation of 0.1. And it gives you a haste and a jump boost for 20 seconds by the looks of it on level power one for that we need some nitrogen so let's find out how if we can get any nitrogen from this so glycine will give us from wool okay wool we have a 60 percent chance of getting glycine okay let's see if we can get some wool so if we got any string in here, let's see if we got any string. Twelve. Well, that might be enough. Let's do this like this. And put these three in here. Like that. I hope we get some glycine. We do. We've only got six. We need a bit more than that, which is a shame. But I'll put those in the in the chemical there. Uh, and the microscope to start with and titanium oxide ah that's actually quite a useful one i think because that gives us a source of titanium and i think that is also used in so let's find out what uses it has got so you can but you can make some flowers with it the chemical synthesizer various bits of glass and some wool of course which we would expect some colors flowers but well, look it pretty looks like a reasonable compound to have with some carbon black so that's what that's used for I think let's just go through the other recipes in here yeah just more wool and you can hear underneath here there's definitely a spider and I want to go outside and get some if I've got any left that is I need some more lava. I want another piece of obsidian. Over here, let's fill up these. I might have enough in one of these. Let's have a look. That'll be fine. Because what I want to make is some dirt. Because to be honest with you, I've got no food at the moment. So we're going to decompose this first of all and get some silicon dioxide. Get 16 of those. And I'm going to decompose the silicon dioxide. Oh no, no, I don't want to do that, do I? Not that it matters very much. I want to put it in. Here, let's clear off the recipe. 
I think it's top left gives me a piece of dirt, so I'll give me. Oh, actually, I can get a stack of dirt. I don't want a stack of dirt for the time being. We'll take uh, 16. That'll give me a 4x4, four four, won't it? And we're going to go and take these potatoes out of here because we've got potatoes. We've got 51 potatoes. And I think we can use those as well as a food source. But we can't cook them in the oven. Oops, that's finished, doesn't it? So let's take those out of there. You can't cook potatoes in here. They won't go in. You have to use a redstone, a redstone furnace for that. But we can plant, plant potatoes. I think that still works. So I am going to. If I put one piece of dirt down, so yeah, uh, let's put one piece of here like that. And then I can easily bash that and give me the other three I want like that. And then just take out the corners with the stone pick. And I can plant my 16 dirt down here. Oh, I do need a hoe, don't I? I did th forgot about that. Let's go and make a hoe. And we'll make a stone hoe because cobblestone's cheap and wood's expensive in this pack. Relatively, that is. So, what have we got? Oh, actually, I've got some fishing rods here. I'm going to take all of those, and I'll show you what I'm going to do with those if I've got enough space to carry them all, which I haven't. And I've got some sticks. Let's do the sticks first. And cobblestone. Like that. And I'll put the moon turf in there and take that with me. What we're going to do with these, we're going to decompose these. because there's not actually much use for them except to decompose them of course you can go fishing well that's a perfectly viable thing to do as well and you see what we've got from here we've got some cellulose we've got some aniline and ananine i'm not sure what we use that for glycine which is great because that, that gives me plenty of glycine. Now what I'm going to do here with this glycine, I'm going to put it down here, like that. And I'm just going to walk through this now, and then my food goes up. And I've also got a speed boost, just like that. Well, I should have, anyway, let's have a look what we've got for effects. Haste and jump boost. So let's jump. Oh, well, I can't, it's not so easy to see in here, but I've got a little bit of time left. Oh, yeah, I think that's probably a jump boost. It's a bit difficult to tell on the moon, actually. <laughs> so every time I go into this room, I'm going to get that. And I'm also going to do the same thing over here. And then every time I walk through, I'm going to get a little bit of extra. That means I'm going to have them sort out, sort out my food problem, I think. So what else have we got? I'll put those away and put these away. Can I not put those away? Is that full? Oh, it doesn't look full at the moment. Oh, we've run out of types. In fact, that's actually not updated to yellow. So, anyway, where were we now? Let's have a look at our quests. Right, that's right. We're doing the machine frame. Well, I was, anyway. And I was also planting the potatoes, which I haven't done either. Let's do one thing at a time. Maybe I don't want the jump boost when I do that, get up there. One. What I also need is a water source. A one water source will should cover all of these just fine. So let's get a bucket of water. Oops. And it fell off then.
collect it, we get the bucket of water, and we'll make a hole and put the bucket of water in there like that. In Galactic Science 1, one of the best things you could do was actually use, it has a range of about 4, doesn't it, this stuff, let's put it here. So water bucket should then hydrate all of this area, I think it will do. 4 in both directions, I'm not 100% sure if it's going to get this one up here. But you can see that this one's hydrated now, because it's gone dark, and that one over there has done so too. So if it can reach that one, then it probably can reach this one over here too, which I think it has already done. Good. We can speed those up with bone meal, of course. So that was one thing. Let's do the next thing, which is taking these nuggets here. Oh, wait. Oh, they're not clear. That's strange. Give me three ingots of iron and I can't place anything. So now I can make the machine frame like that. And because it's, it's got the energy being stored because of the ender pearl, if I, as soon as I turn the ender pearl off like this and click it on again, it will actually keep storing this up. Now, what does it need? It's nearly done. Look, it's got 1.2 million. 12 million in there already so it won't be too long before this machine frames made which is just great but it does take a while so let's put this stuff back in again can't shift to click in here why not my shift one of my shifts broken oh strange i'll have to put it in the oh of course i can't shift to click it because it's full in fact, that means I'm going to make a chest if I can. Well, that should make two chests, I think. We need to store some stuff out of the way. Let's do that. Good. In fact, what we'll do is we'll store the chemicals over in here. So for the time being, I'm going to put, make, put the chest down here on this wall. And I'm going to put all the chemicals that we've got, empty, including the empty tubes, in here. Oh, did I scan? Yes, I did scan the retinol, didn't I? So we'll take these other chemicals out. Well, later on, we'll have got a better way of doing this, I think. can sort that we get the compounds put that in there I think now and what else can we take out of here contain iron oxide carbon empty tubes we don't need in here either so look down the list and water Okay, let's put those away while I'm waiting for the the chest to finish off. And iron oxide. Iron oxide I do want to scan actually. Let's put the iron oxide into here. Because that's one of the useful ones. Serine is another one which you can also do the same thing as glycine. So we've got jump boost for 20 and we get power 1 and haste. We get power for 1 second I think. I think that's what it means. Let's check this out here. Oh, I've still got a bit of time to go for this one. So let's have a look at what else we can do in the meantime. Stop the hammer time, which sounds like a good one. So we've got to make a quarry. Now I wonder what we're going to need for the quarry. Let's have a look. Um, uh, 
So we need the build craft or PC builders quarry. So that's uh, 10 blocks of iron. That's a lot of iron. One block of gold and one block of diamond. And I don't think I've got any of that stuff available at the moment. Let's have a look. We've got one diamond. That's not so great. Gold, we've got 57, which isn't even going to give us well, one block. That's nine times nine. That's 81. So that's not enough. We've got enough iron. No, we don't actually. We need 810 at this rate, which is a shame. Let's have a look at what else we've got here. Fluid transposer. I haven't put that into place yet, but I probably should do because we can get a lot better use out of the iron and the gold if we do that. And how we do that. Well, we can take this here. And we can put the fluid transposer here like this. Let's do that. And then that had an output on the left hand side. And this is probably got if we put an input here on the on the left hand sorry, output on the right hand left left hand side here, we can start to do things. So what you can do with this is you can put say a piece of gold ore in here and that will give us 216 millibuckets and that should come into here like this so that's a reasonable amount of gold I don't think I'm not sure I can do this let's just try it but I have to do empty don't I so it should get into here but I only think it gets into here when it gets full so the next thing we're going to do because 216 doesn't go very nicely with uh, 1,000. So let's have a look what we can do to get that stuff out. In, there is some an item in the mod. Let me have a look what it's called. It's uh, in uh, Foundry. Why? And it is this block here the so it must be at the bottom of this one here so we need two pieces of tin ingot which is probably possible a piece of glass pane that's probably possible and a refractory brick which is probably not possible let's have a look at the recipe for this it's not actually showing me the recipe on this one i don't see why unless he's disabled it since last time Ah, because we could make refractory clay, and with that, the uses of that one was we could make. Uh, ah, he has removed it. We could actually make the bricks. And with the bricks, we could then make these uh, containers. We could still make the molds. That's a bit of a nuisance, actually. I didn't expect that. So I don't know. Is there another way to get this out into the system? Not at the moment. I might have to break it and lose the stuff. Oh, we can do that, probably. If we put in five... If we fill this up with gold and we get it all out, we'll lose a one or two, I suppose. that will come into here and we should if we put the buckets into here get a bucket worth of gold so that to fill that becomes the input and there we have a bucket's worth of gold now that bucket's worth of gold we can then put into the system so we can come over here like this and put that in here and then we get another molten there we get molten gold in the system and we can do that, but the trouble is we haven't got we're not yet far enough to do to make the next block, which in fact is the foundry block. We have to wait, I think, before we can do that. It'll be induction crucible metal caster. I think it's a metal caster, which is a block of iron plus a machine frame will give us a metal caster. That's actually a pretty important block because that will then allow us to make ingots and nuggets and blocks. I think we can make blocks nuggets I'm not 100% sure let me just go to the last page soft pellet mold 
maybe one of these is a, is a we need to make one of these soft pellet bullets I think I don't see one that looks like a nugget there these are ingots And there might have been something else as well. I'll have to research it. There was a, probably a, a, a pipette or something of the order where you could actually extract stuff out of blocks. But I'm not sure what it was called, to be honest with you. So that's this. And I actually think that that's actually one of the first things we've got to make. So let's have a look at those quests again now. I better check my oxygen. Yes, I need to do my oxygen. So I'll do it like this. Put that in there. So well, I want to have a quest. Quarry incomplete. Quarry is going to be great because it's going to give us some more storage and some la and some land. So what have we got to do with this quarry? It was quite expensive though, wasn't it? It's all that iron which we can't do yet. So we need to get that out of the system somehow. What else have we got in here? Yeah, here we go. You see, we get to this casting molten metal and cracking it down, which will be a pulverizer from this block here. So when we've got that, we can go to this one, which is great. We'll leave this one for the time being. It's a bit too much metal at the moment. So let's go over here. How are we doing? Not quite there yet. I'm just wondering whether it makes sense to do this at the time being or wait until we've got we can get rid of this stuff. I can certainly put gold into the system, that's no big deal. Let's do that. But it's a bit of a, a backwards and forwards task, this one at the moment, until we actually get a little bit further on in the in the game. But we do get a lot of gold out of this now. How many buckets have we got in here? 7,000. So we've got about... Uh, Got actually a block of gold in that, so that's pretty good. Wrong one. So, another one of these things I have to do. I don't like doing it. And I'm a bit worried about how to get rid of the last piece of gold. Later on, it's going to be easy, but at the moment, it's not. Where am I? Here. And you'll see it's also quite slow in melting the stuff down. Like that. Anyway, so what have I achieved today? Let me have a look. Quest wise, we've done this, we'll have this block done. I'm pretty sure that should be just about finished now. It is just about 400,000 more to go, which is going up reasonably fast. But it is a slow process, this one. But I think the next important thing after this, let's have a look. I want to make these refract. I want to make this clay. What do we need for this clay here? Just ordinary clay with some sand. Actually, that's fairly straightforward. And that'll make four casts. Oh, that'll do. We shall do that. While we're waiting, let's do that. Now, can we do it at the moment? Probably not, actually, because what we need is dust, and we can't break the dust down until we get the pulverizer. Okay, I'm a bit stuck on that one. So, just a little bit longer now. And we can finish that off with this quest, I think. And now, in the meantime, between episodes, I'm going to see if I can melt all this uh, broken iron down to get it into ingots. Because I really do need to get this casted out. There we go. So we can turn that off now and get the machine frame out of here. 
Let's go and have a look at this now. Claim the reward. Oh, that's not the quarry one done. It's the machine frame one here. Detect submit. And we get a super builders one too. Claim that. And we can now put into here this next one. In fact, that's a 4K storage cell. And that's a 60K. Let's put the storage cells in here because it doesn't really matter very much where we put them. So now we have plenty of. No, oh, that's actually fluid storage. Hold on. Oh, yes, this is fluid storage as well. Okay, good. In fact, I'll swap those over. So we've only got 4K storage at the moment, which is yellow. Okay. So that's it for today. As you see in my hand, I have got the, the block. So until next time, I'm going to say bye for now.